Please welcome your host, Dion Taylor. Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. Today I am back to talk about new features in 2024 Release Wave 1, but this time I want to talk about all that's new and coming for Dynamics 365 Field Service. There's a lot of them, so let's dive right in and get going with it. The first one I want to talk about is the generate custom responses and summaries in Outlook with AI feature, which is very similar to something that you might have seen in other apps like Copilot for sales in Outlook. With the functionality in Copilot for sales, users can actually choose from several prompts to have Copilot generate an email draft as a response. And as you can see in this screenshot over here, Sales Copilot has three different prompts, reply to an inquiry, make a proposal, and address a concern. So today, the only prompt that's available right now in Field Service Copilot in Outlook is to generate a work order from an email, but more prompts will become available as part of this feature. Now, the prompts in Copilot for Field Service will be related to work orders and bookings, so my guess is that a prompt can be something like propose a booking time. Now, I cannot wait to see this one in action. Another co-pilot item on the list is to get insights for technicians from Copilot. And this feature was originally on the 2023 Release Wave 2 plan, but now made it onto the 2024 Release Wave 1 plan. I really like this feature because it allows frontline workers to ask Copilot questions in natural language from within Microsoft Teams. So Copilot is gonna be able to access data from Dynamics 365 Field Service to give those answers, right? Which will allow these frontline workers to get the most up-to-date information. And think about this as well, being able to ask Copilot questions versus having to actually look up that information inside of the system is going to obviously save a lot of times, right? So this is really going to help with uh, improving the productivity for those frontline workers as well. The next two features that I'm going to discuss and that are mentioned in the release notes have been in preview since December of 2023. So you might have heard uh, or seen some of these features already. Now, both features will be available from within the enhanced mobile experience. And to get more details on the enhanced experience for the mobile app, please watch the video that I recorded on this functionality previously. So the first feature is called Update Work Orders with Copilot in the new mobile experience, which allows field workers to simply describe the process the progress they made on a work order. So think about, you know, all the tasks that he or she has completed, products that were consumed, right, while performing that work, right, all of those things. And then after uh, those uh, updates are communicated to Copilot, I should say, Copilot is then going to suggest updates to make into the system. So the field worker will then see the list of suggestions that Copilot gives them and they can then pick and choose uh, which one, which updates they want Copilot to make in the system. Again, this is gonna make it so much easier when it comes to uh, updating those records inside of Dynamics 365 Field Service. Now the second feature is the ability to summarize work orders with Copilot in, again, that new mobile experience that I just mentioned. So field workers can actually access this functionality from within a booking. There's gonna be a Copilot button over there. And it's important to understand that the data that Copilot actually uses to generate that summary is not only coming from the booking or the related work order, it's also using data from historical work orders, uh, and other tables like, for example, the customer asset that's populated on that work order, the related work order products, services, tasks, et cetera, right? So all of that will be considered when Copilot is creating that summary. Now, again, to learn more about either of these Copilot features, be sure to check out yet another video that I recorded back uh, in January of 2024. 
Now, Microsoft is always looking for ways to empower the frontline workers who are using Dynamics 365 field service. And that's where uh, all the features that you will see that are mentioned under that particular, under this particular heading, have actually been in preview since last year. As mentioned earlier, Microsoft is working on that brand new modern interface for the mobile app, which provides frontline workers with that refreshed user interface. And as part of that, the updated agenda view in this mobile experience that is mentioned in that release notes is actually, again, right, part of the features of that new enhanced mobile experience. I just want to make that very, very clear. So the agenda view has a new design, obviously, and it also brings a couple of new features with it. For example, the ability to view historical bookings and future bookings as well. We're going to be able to see uh, 90 days of historical bookings right in the past. And then we're also going to be able to uh, see in the future anything that's been booked 90 days uh, and out. You're also going to see different colors. There's like this little different colored bar for all the weekdays. So as you're scrolling, you're going to be able to recognize these weekdays uh, on the mobile app on that view very easily. And you'll also see that the booking status is colored as well, which makes it stand out uh, a little bit uh, better, right? Be a little bit better on that mobile application. Now that this new agenda view also has a new shortcut and I'm very excited about this one because it actually allows field workers to get directions to the service address and also change the booking status to traveling at the same time. Now, again, this is also a uh, part of that mobile preview. So you can try and uh, kind of take a look at that today as well. The configure list view in that new mobile experience is also a feature, right? Part of that enhancement. So this feature allows admins to configure list views for that mobile app. Now it would be very bad if we weren't able to configure uh, these views. So this is kind of self-explanatory for me, but it was listed as a feature uh, in the release notes. Now, what is important to understand is that the new views actually support five columns now versus the three columns that are supported today, right? In the mobile application. And again, to learn more about any of these features that I just talked about, please watch the video that I recorded back in January on that enhanced mobile experience. Now, these frontline workers will also see a new offline sync settings in the mobile app when they navigate to that offline status page. There's actually two new settings uh, that are gonna be available. The first one is the sync interval setting, which allows them to set how often the data from the mobile device is synced but they can also choose to disable this auto sync and only use the manual sync instead. The second feature is the ability to sync on Wi-Fi, which allows these field workers to actually choose between syncing both on Wi-Fi and cellular, cellular networks or only to sync on Wi-Fi networks. Now I noticed that this feature is actually not limited to just Dynamics 365 field service, the mobile application. It will also be available for model-driven apps in general. So that's a good one to know as well. Now, another feature that I'm very excited about is the ability to use embedded guides in field service mobile. Now, this functionality obviously uh, allows field workers to access and to launch these Dynamics 365 guides directly from within the field service mobile app. Now, please understand that if you are planning to do this, then you need to have Dynamics 365 guides installed in the same environment that you have installed Dynamics 365 field service. Now, I apologize a little bit for the quality of the image that you currently see on your screen, but it does give you a pretty good idea of what it will look like, right? What those guides inside of that mobile app, what that will look like. The preview work orders in Teams with link unfurling feature, try to say that five times, uh, 
right, in a row, that's gonna be hard, uh, shows a preview of a work order when a work order link is posted in a Teams chat. So I'm assuming that this is gonna work the same way uh, as when we are pasting a link of a Dynamics 365 row inside of a Teams chat today, as you might or might not know, that link then actually turns into an adaptive card that shows you information about the record, right, that the link is referring to. Now, according to the release notes, we also will be able to create and edit work orders that way, this way. So this is definitely very different from anything that we could do today. Now, this feature is actually not gonna be released to all of the regions. So make sure to check the release notes to make sure that your region uh, is actually listed there. Now, the first feature in this category is the ability to manage vendors with advanced contractor management. Now, the release notes say that we will be able to add and remove contractors, capture the capacity and compliance information, and deactivate their access is if that is needed. Now, I'm not really sure what this would look like, but I'm assuming that this is related to the contractor license that Microsoft has, right, for subcontractors. I would also think that a contractor would be a type of resource in the application that we can schedule work to, right? But we're gonna have to wait for that public preview, uh, which is currently set for April of this year. And then integrating field service with Business Central is a feature that will make it a, a lot easier for organizations that currently use Business Central, right? This is gonna make it a lot easier to now connect field service with Business Central. It also makes this a great new option for companies that don't wanna to have to implement a large ERP system like Dynamics 365 Finance and Supply Management, which already has some integrations with Dynamics 365 field service in place. However, as part of this release, Microsoft added functionality that helps integrate financial and inventory management. So in other words, this feature enables the integration between Dynamics 365 field service and finance and supply chain management by simply flipping a switch. So if you are a Dynamics 365 finance and supply chain management customer, this is something that you can try out today because this has been in preview since November of 2023. Postal codes in Dynamics 365 field service are related to the territory table. And then makers can create multiple postal codes, right, for each territory. The way that it then works is that when the postal code of an account record is entered and it actually matches a postal code related to a service territory, then this service territory is automatically populated on the account. Now, the functionality that's called Manage Postal Codes Globally allows makers to add a country code to postal codes in the system. Now, this is needed because different countries can still have identical postal codes. So this feature will actually help keep these postal codes uh, stay unique, right? So very important feature here. And this last feature that I wanted to talk about has everything to do with when the Dynamics 365 field service app gets updated. So today the default setting in the app is to receive these updates on a semi-annual basis, right? This is when the features from uh, a release wave are being uh, pushed out, but the default setting for this is actually going to be changed to monthly, right? If an app needs to be switched back to semi-annually, then this is definitely something that an administrator can do for you. Now. Also, something that's very important to note is that this setting is not just available for Dynamics 365 field service, right? This is also a setting that will be available for all of the model-driven apps, and makers can obviously change that setting at any point in time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching. Until next time.